what's up guys? I'm Josh Kane. And I'm Cameron Bailey. And uh, we play music, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty fun. We're here at Luigi's. It's an amazing venue. Yeah, um, awesome, awesome stage lights and everything like that are just on point. For sure. Yeah, no, sure. it's cool. The crowd tonight was crazy. Though. Yeah. Pretty awesome. <laughs> it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a cool. lot of interaction for sure. That's Definitely. like, it's like the best. Yeah, this guy's a Best shredder. This guy... yeah. He taught me. He's actually my teacher. Yeah, I'm in know. the band with him now. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've actually been in a band together for five, six years. Yeah, for quite a while. We've been yeah. jamming for a long time. Yeah, it's long, long cool. time. So, yeah. It's been great. We're about to release a ton of new music for the year. It's going to be yeah. a good year. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. We have a whole bunch of new songs that are coming out this year. Uh, one of the main songs that's coming out is called Fire. And it's going to be. Coming out here in a few weeks, and it's gonna be released in a couple countries all across the United States. Uh, there'll be a video out, and it'll be on iTunes and all that fun stuff. Yeah. So yeah, so um, you just gotta look up uh, Josh Kane, and uh, he has a ton of great music, and obviously I'll be playing with him for Death Do Us Part. So <laughs> so yeah. Don't die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So one of the songs is called Fire, actually. Um, it's one of the uh, kind of slower songs I've written, but it was actually about someone close to me who overdosed, um, nearly lost their mind for a while, but I started uh, writing the lyrics based on that. Like, the song kind of talks about me looking over the lost, people that struggle and go through things in life and just don't have anyone there to back them up, so it's kind of like... Like some some of the lyrics in there, like uh, we're talking about fire, fire in my veins. Like it's kind of like like I'm there as kind of like someone who's angry and trying to protect someone, like a brother or you know a family member or a friend. Um, that's kind of what that's about. But we actually went in the studio. I actually own a recording studio um, called Skyrise Studios, and I built it up about two years, two and a half years ago. And so it's kind of cool because I get to go in the studio every day and work and create new music and you know it's, it's, it's an amazing experience every day it's, it's awesome yeah so uh, I own a recording studio called Skyrise Studios you can find it on Facebook um, we record music uh, for all kinds of different artists that come through we're located in Auburn kind of the Federal Way area too around that general line unincorporated King County and how long city. have you been doing that I've been Doing studio work, owning a studio for about two and a half years. About two and a half years, yeah. And then, how do you get the the productions out in the public? Uh, well, I have an engineer. One of my best friends, Adam, one of my partners for the studio. He uh, engineers everything. And what we do is we'll record a song. We'll start off, for example, we'll go into pre-production and we'll write out a song. You know, do a rough draft of it, and then. We'll go over the song a couple times, you know, make sure the drums are perfect, then put the bass down, then the guitar, piano, whatever little increments that we want to put into a song. And then we'll do the vocals, and then once we're done with it, we'll mix and master it, and then we'll put it up on iTunes, have a video release for it, and start putting it out on the market. Well, I want to know when the next video releases, because I'd love to come and film. The next if video, that would be okay. Yeah, the next video release is probably in two and a half weeks. I think we're scheduling right now. We're in the process of uh, filming some of the stuff, but yeah. Nice. And my show is called Public Interest Issues. Public Interest Issues. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. And it's, it's on Seattle Community Media TV. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Thank you. I'll check that out. And so um, give us the name of the band and give us the name of the CD that's coming out. The uh, name of the band is Josh Kane and the CD is called Fire. Nice. Well, looking forward to it. Yeah. A new CD. Yeah. Uh, my name is Cameron Bailey. Um, I've been with Josh and everything for about six or seven years. Um, I've actually, he actually taught me how to play guitar a little bit. And then um, I kind of went off on my own. Uh, release here soon, uh, in the next two and a half weeks or so. And it's called Fire. And it's going to be fantastic. The song's Fire. <laughs> and I'm glad I ran into you guys tonight. Yeah, thank and thank you, you for um, taking the time to interview with me. Well, thank you. I know you, very you guys much. are real busy and you're. Uh, you know, taking all your stuff down and packing up. Yeah, for sure. And I appreciate you guys stopping to say hello to the public. Oh, for sure. That's what we do. Uh, it's all about the church. And I've known them. I've actually been in a band with him at the same church that he played at. And 
he's just been a good friend and I help support him in any way I possibly can. And this is my second time here at Louis G's helping him out. And if he wants more help, the next time he comes here, I'll help him out, not a problem. And Louis G's is such a nice venue. Oh, it's a great it's, place. It's a wonderful place and all sorts of music comes through and yeah, they have great it's pizza. Great. I mean the bands are that come through here, I mean they're young but they're talented. They're really talented. Really I good. love Louis G's. Yeah, it's a great place. And then um, you're here at Louis G's. Yeah, I love this place, man. Pizza, like if you want pizza, well, Louis. Is Louis is the place to go. Like he, love he's it. such a great guy. I mean, he actually cares about me. Yeah, he actually cares about us and everything like that. And it's so hard to find for actual like people and v v v venues and everything like that. So it's definitely a really nice key aspect. At, I mean, it's a really awesome environment. Yeah. yeah, excellent environment having kids, family, you have drinks, but not in a sort of bar setting. Uh, it's the holy trifecta. Venue, restaurant, bar, all in one. How can you ask for more? And you've got great music and dancing. and Absolutely. Yeah. You've got Josh Kane. You've got all the other wonderful <laughs> bands that performed here tonight. Great singing, great sound, and, uh, you know, I had a hell of a time. Thank you. I love Josh Kane's music. Uh, I've been friends with him for I don't know how many years. His style and uh, how many people he brings to uh, this venue. He has a lot of fan base. Great uh, quality guy, and uh, I love everything that he does. And I'm gonna continue seeing seeing his shows for many years to come. And I like the fact that he writes his own. The music is original. That is very very rare nowadays. You know, most of the times you see covers. Sometimes you'll see. Uh, you know, things like that. He writes all of his own lyrics, all of his own guitar, drums. I mean, if he had a little bit uh, more appendages and arms, he probably could do the whole entire band himself. Yeah, he's great. He is an incredible guy. I'm, so, I'm lucky to have him as a friend. And thanks for being on my show, Public Interest Issues. So we're down here tonight in Fife, and we're uh, talking to the band. The band. Hey, I'm Dalton Rouse uh, with the band Clear the Chaos. We just got done with the show here at Luigi's in Fife, uh, our kind of our home base. We're signed on to the music label here, and it's been a privilege to work with Louis over the years. Uh, we have an album out, this bad boy right here called Brothers and Sisters. You can check it out on iTunes, Spotify, pretty much anywhere online. We have hard copies. And if you'd like to contact us on our website and get one, that'd be awesome. And thank you so much. Clearthechaosband.com. And your beautiful poster. And so give us a little bit about um, you performing here. Louis Tonight? Yeah. Uh, I mean, we uh, we were asked by Louis to come and play. He said that it would mean a lot to him if we'd come out because he's planning on getting rid of the place eventually. So, you know, we're coming up to the final days here and we've had a lot of good memories in this place. So we definitely want to make the most of it. Uh, we've been playing here for years, probably two, two or three years now. And we've been part of the label for probably about one year now. And it's opened up a world of opportunities to us. I'm really grateful. So the album here, Brothers and Sisters, uh, was produced by a good friend of mine, Matt Keats. He uh, is in charge of Christian Musician Summit, if you're familiar. He's a really good musician and producer. And we spent a summer doing some bunch of yard work and whatnot to raise money. And out of the goodness of his heart, he gave us a bit of a discount. And we recorded an awesome full-length album with him. And he did a fantastic job on it. And we've been selling it ever since. Nice. And you guys have original work. Absolutely. Everything on the album is our own writing. Uh, one of my personal favorites is probably Insomnia, which is, I believe, the 11th track. Let me just look here. Yep, the 11th track on there. It's a, it's a story that I kind of fabricated about a guy who, he's had a rough go of it in life, and needless to say, he's, he's come to the point where he can't decide if when he's awake, if that's reality, or if when he's asleep, if that's reality. Because if he's asleep, he dreams of great things, but he's never experienced anything pleasant, really, in his entire life. So he ends up in this paradigm where he feels like, Maybe the reality is when I'm asleep, so he wants to basically wake a bunch of people up and save them from the same folly that he's been a part of. So he becomes a pilot and flies a plane into the ocean and kills a bunch of people thinking he's saving them, 
but the moral dilemma is he is actually just killing me. And he's crazy. And so all your songs are different. All they all have different thoughts at different times. Yeah, some, some of them are a little bit uh, more personal, a little more real. So, a lot of them are stories, especially on the album. A lot of them are just fabricated stories that kind of, I guess, can be a point, an idea that I wanted to convey. Woo! Go Ted! Well, thanks for being on my show. Thanks so much for uh, your time. Thank you. Well, he's the kind of the leader of the band.
Fun. <laughs> <laughs>